Hello. For those that don't know me, I'm Mrs Gabella. A few years ago, I started learning Makaton. Makaton is a language that uses symbols, signs and words to help people communicate. So I thought I would show you a few signs for Christmas. Now, Makaton relies on you using the hand you write with, your dominant hand, and your other hand is your piece of paper. So I'm going to do everything, but as you're watching me, if you're left-handed, it's going to be great because you can mirror what I'm doing. But if you're right-handed, you're going to have to think carefully about which hand to use. So I'll tell you what to use your dominant hand for and what to use your non-dominant hand for. We're going to start with a sign for Christmas. So take the hand that you don't write with and just put it as if it was flat on a table. With your other hand, you're going to stroke it from your little finger to your thumb and then make a fist and put it on top. Christmas. Christmas. You have a go. Christmas. Our next sign is Father Christmas. So the sign for a man is to show that a man's got a beard. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to throw the sack of toys over our shoulder. So we're going to do a man with a beard and throw our sack of toys over our shoulder. Father Christmas. Father Christmas. So we have Christmas and Father Christmas. Now, Father Christmas needs his little elves to help him make his toys. So the next one we're going to do is elves. Now, elves have pointy ears. So you're just going to get your fingers and you're going to make your ears into points. Just bring your ears up into points. Elf. Elf. So you've got Father Christmas and his elf. And the next one is reindeer. This one's a lovely easy one. So reindeers have antlers on the top of their head. So you want to make your hands into antlers. Stick your thumbs on the side of your head and then just move them away. Reindeer. Reindeer. So we have Father Christmas, Elf and reindeer. Now, this is my Christmas tree. And the sign for a Christmas tree is just exactly like you would draw it at school with those triangles that go out. So a small triangle, then a bigger one, and then a big one. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. And maybe you've been writing your friends some Christmas cards. So a card is a square that you open. So it's a square you open card. And if it's a Christmas card, you're going to do Christmas card. Christmas card. Next one is Christmas jumper. So a jumper, you're going to make your fists, you're going to put them against your shoulders and then put them a little lower down. So you're going to go jumper, jumper. So a Christmas jumper is Christmas jumper. Christmas jumper. Christmas card. Christmas jumper. And I think my most important one, Christmas dinner. So that's to eat, eating food. Christmas dinner. Christmas card. Christmas jumper. Christmas dinner. And maybe for your Christmas dinner, you might have turkey. Now, turkeys are very funny animals and they've got a bit that sits under their chin and wobbles. And that's what you're going to do. So you're going to get two fingers with your dominant hand, the hand you write with, and you're just going to put them under your chin and they're going to wobble. So that's a turkey. It's one of my favourite signs, turkey. So for your Christmas dinner, you might eat turkey. You might also have Christmas pudding. So just turn your hand upside down and make them into a bowl shape. Christmas pudding. So for my Christmas dinner, I'm going to have turkey and Christmas pudding. The next one we're going to do is stars. Like the stars on the tree, stars in the sky, stars. Bet when you learnt twinkle twinkle little star as a nursery rhyme, you did that automatically. Stars, that's a nice easy one. And the next one is the one we hope for. Everyone says, we want a white Christmas. We want it to snow. 
snow. So just put your, wave your hands in front of your face, snow. And if you wanted to do snowman, you'd go back to like we did for Father Christmas where we said it was a man, snowman. So snow and snowman. Okay. Now, I'm going to go through all those again and then I'm going to teach you two super important ones. We have Christmas. We have Father Christmas. Elf. Reindeer. Christmas tree. Christmas card. Christmas jumper. Christmas dinner. Turkey. Christmas pudding. Stars. Snow. Snowman. Very important though. I'm going to teach you how to say Merry Christmas. So you're going to make a smile with the hand you write with, just your thumb and your first finger. You're going to make a smile and you're going to put them towards your mouth. Merry. So draw a little circle with them. Merry. So if you're going to wish someone Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Maybe you could do that to some family members or your teachers after you've watched this. Merry Christmas. And then we're going to say Happy New Year. So happy, you know, because we do that in our birthday song. Happy. New. So take the hand that you actually write with and put like you were putting on a new glove. New. So happy. New. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take your first finger with your hand you write with. You're going to make your other hand into a sort of a V shape and you're going to put your finger onto your hand. So it looks a bit like a capital Y. So you've got happy new year. So I wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you for watching and good luck with your Christmas Macathon.